Hello boys and girls, nice to see you again. Well today I'm going to read a story about a baby, but it's a special baby. And the story's called Baby Brains and Robo Mum, the smartest baby in the whole world. The story's written and illustrated by Simon James. You can see on the front cover there's baby brains and there is a robot carrying a tray. Well, let's have a look inside. This looks like a good story. Baby Brains and Robo Mum. Before Baby Brains was born, Mrs. Brains ate lots of fish and nuts, which are good foods for brains. She also played foreign languages on headphones and read out loud to the baby inside her tummy. Mr. and Mrs. Brains were hoping for a clever baby. But when Baby Brains was born, they were amazed to see just how clever he turned out to be. When the hospital scanned Baby Brains' head, they compared his brain with a normal baby's. And they were amazed at the difference. At home, Baby Brains had no time for toys. He preferred working on the computer and doing experiments with his chemistry set. But most of all, he loved designing new inventions. Baby Brains invented the first remote-controlled self-rocking cradle. He also invented the first fully motorised stroller. But despite his brilliant labour-saving inventions, Baby Brains could see how tired his parents were at the end of each day. Once, his mum even fell asleep during his bedtime story. <gasps> One night, Baby Brains stayed up inventing something special to help Mr and Mrs Brains. He was sure science and technology would have the answer. It took him all night and well into the next morning. Finally, at lunchtime, he was able to present Mrs Brains with his most ambitious invention to date. It's Robo Mum, said Baby Brains. Gosh, said Mrs Brains, what does she do? The ironing for starters, said Baby Brains. Fantastic, said Mrs Brains. Robo Mum soon took over all the household chores. She cooked the evening meal and cleaned up afterward. Wonderful, said Mrs Brains. The following day, Robo Mum washed the car. Terrific, said Mr Brains. By the weekend, Robo Mum had even taken over looking after the baby. First she changed Baby Brains' diaper, his nappy, but Baby Brains preferred his mum to do that. Later she gave Baby Brains a bath, but Baby Brains preferred his dad to do that. The worst was to come when Robo Mum insisted on putting Baby Brains to bed. Don't let the robo bugs bite, said Robo Mum. She's doing too much, said Mrs Brains. And what's all that smoke coming out of her head, said Mr Brains. The next morning, instead of cereal, Robo Mum served nuts and bolts in engine oil for breakfast. Something is wrong, said Mr Brains. I think I'll have a yoghurt, said Mrs Brains. Later, Robo Mum washed Baby Brains in the kitchen sink with all the dishes. Then she hung him out to dry on the line. Baby Brains tried to wriggle free, but the clothes pins, the clothes pegs held him in place. He started to sway in the breeze along with the laundry. Baby Brains began to cry. 
I want my mummy, he called. Mrs. Brains went upstairs, when, was upstairs when she heard her baby calling. She looked out of the window and could hardly believe her eyes. She raced down the stairs, through the kitchen, and into the yard. She grabbed hold of her baby. Quick, Mum, said Baby Brains. I think Robo Mum is about to explode. Oh, dear me. Look at that. As the smoke cleared, Mrs. Brains held her baby tight. Thanks, Mum, said Baby Brains. That night, everyone helped cook dinner and clean up afterward. Later, Mr. and Mrs. Brains put Baby Brains to bed. It was nice to do things together again. Of course, Baby Brains didn't stop inventing. Soon, he came up with something he was sure his mum and dad would enjoy. It was the new, improved Robo Mum 2. Smaller than the first one. The end. And that's the back cover. And that's the back and front cover. And here's the front cover. Baby Brains and Robo Mum. Well, that was an interesting story. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again soon. Goodbye. <laughs>